You gonna leave your book back on? Yeah. Is that your business casual, by the way, young man? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna start our timer. And then I'm checking you off of here so you can get your points. All right, I'm gonna open up yours from my student account email. So here is your portfolio. Woo! You are a piece of work <laughs> in a good way. You were one of my regulars at first for tutoring. Why did you come to tutoring? I mean, I understand why, but what did you gain from tutoring? Which was? I'm glad you learned that. I, <laughs> and I was hard on you, and you were like, oh my gosh, these rewrites. But those rewrites, what do you say? Did they make you stronger? Yeah, I hold it what did you learn from rewriting your work? That I need to always go back and check and have somebody else read over it. So I didn't need to, I know I didn't I need to fix. So that's why I came to the first started off with that and then come because I wouldn't I wouldn't really need that much help because I can do something on my own. So would you say then I gave you the tools? Out of the tools that I gave you, what were the most beneficial ones? Or what you learned from the class? What would be the most beneficial thing? The tutoring. The tutoring? Okay. It takes a lot out of me. I do it because I know it's needed, though. With your essays, you gave me a hard time, actually, in all of them. But I think the one that you started to become really strong on and you also worked within tutoring was your descriptive essay. What did you learn? Look at your smiling. What did you learn about your... Um, when you wrote about your descriptive essay. And you picked Mona Lisa. Yeah. What did you learn in regards to describing Mona Lisa? It was just easy to me. Cause I, was just, I had a lot of stuff in the background. And uh, I don't know, I just, it was just easy for me. Cause I've already, I already knew since you said, we're, we're gonna do the descriptive essay of what I wanted to do. So me playing it. Playing the pay time is what I learned and took from it. With this, because I kept harping on outline, 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 the whole process. Do you see how your writing formed better when you did an outline? So why was it hard for you at times to do an outline? And be honest. Because times, at times I was just ready to go ahead and, and get over where I didn't feel like sitting down and needing an outline. Even though an outline would have helped me, but I didn't. At times I was just ready to brush it off and get it done, get it over with, and move on to the next one. So that means you know you need that yeah. in any of your writings, but definitely you're gonna need an English 111, okay? Make sure you do that. All right. With your, actually I'm gonna take it back to the debate um, for you. Yes. I think it was my APA one. <laughs> We're going to go to that last. With your debate, what, because you and Howard, y'all were working last minute. What was the challenge for you? It was a challenge because I was I'm in a class, in a criminal justice class now, and I for some of it came back from my book. So you were able to implement this class in another class. That's Good. why I, when we first started off, it was hard because I didn't know, like, I didn't think some of the stuff was in my book until I went back and actually read, you know, some of the chapters of the book. Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice to know. Okay. What The personal story you spoke about, what made you implement that into the debate? Because it's true. You spoke the truth. Would you like to see debates more implemented in classes? No. No? Because <laughs> you I'm asking because you had asked for the rematch. So that's what oh. I was asking. <laughs> Be honest, you no. just said no, uh, so I don't know. I don't know. But then yeah, because it's like it's a for me to me it was fun and it was new because I even in high school I was thinking about taking forensics. But I never took it, even though that the teacher I had I was really close with and it was easy for me to get on the get on the team. So, I don't know, but it was fun for me and maybe fun for other people, but it was just like a lot of 
of stuff that you have to do to prepare for it. Like me speaking in front of a class, you know, it wasn't that many people, but me speaking in front of a class and you know that all the attention is on me was hard. But once people, once I started talking, and like you said, I would slow my words down a little bit and speak clearly, I think I would have been a whole lot better. It was great, but like you said, I should have slowed my words down and spoke more clearly, I would say. Good job. So since we're going to, you spoke about forensics and the debate, and you talked about how you should have spoken, we're going to your APA legend. You decided to write about my great uncle, Dr. Thomas, well, let me go back, Dr. Thomas Franklin Freeman, and I want to make sure I pronounce the F's. Why did you decide to implement him for your VA legend? Because I know at one point, you're like, can we change legends? And I was like, mm -mm, once you pick your legend, you're with your legend. So, one, why did you pick him? But two, why did you think about changing? I actually picked him because I never The person that helped him like learn how to debate yes. the skill. Mm -hmm. Never knew him. And then he was the person that I never actually ever heard of as the whole BA legend thing, I I've never knew about. I don't know how I can't remember if we did it before you came. Don't know, but I've never actually had an had an instructor or a teacher in high school that implemented like you did. Like about different people that we listen to and then, you know, every day for me. So did you like that aspect about the class? Yeah. Because I'm a person that listens to that type of music and knowing that so many people that we wrote about, so many devils that are there is, is from Virginia and we don't know about them as much as we don't know much about him as far as their music goes. That's all we know about him is their music. So what did you learn about when you got to write about Dr. Freeman? What did you learn? He was a great man. And he's still living, he's 100. <laughs> what, when you wrote this, you said he's a great man, but what would you take away from this paper? Because you wrote it. Uh, I don't know. It was because didn't you go up to see him in the museum, the aspect of him in the museum? You said he's beside um, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, correct? Because he helped him learn how to speak, him and Barbara Jordan. So what, you see how this paper tied into your additional education with you going on your trip. Did you go with your family? No. Who did you go school. with? Oh, you went with your school. Or here, this school, TCC, so see. Um, what then did you not like about the class? pressure. And when you say pressure, what kind of pressure? No, not even the pressure, the hardness. <laughs> the hardness as a sorry as how it's something that didn't sound right to you or that's not English like you believe. <laughs> Which is good because it may not have been right, but it's just like it's hard. Because knowing that you in your mind you thinking that it's right, but a teacher that knows it's not right, just by the way it sounds, or the way that it's written, because or there's the syntax. So I had you look at your syntax and your semantics in the sentence. So semantics is the meaning, but syntax is the form, which is why I wanted you to see that in your own writing. And I think by you rewriting, you figured that part out because you got stronger when you got to your. Legends paper, but also for your descriptive, but you also came to tutoring. Then you had to rewrite your narrative. With rewriting your narrative, what was the challenge? Rewriting. Why? Because what I had in the first, what is some of the stuff I had in the first one, I had to change it all up. And then do another, and then think of something else that has happened from the time I was born to now that was worth writing about. It's just the thinking process of what actually to write. That was just a hard part for me. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to say? No? All right. I think you here. You take this back. And
and the next should be Nigel. Send her in for me, please. So how do we get our recommendation? Um, if you notice the email that I sent to you, we're still recording, by the way. Um, I have a challenge getting into the SIS system. They haven't given me what I needed for that portion. So if I'm able to get into it, I, of course, can update you. If not, then it's probably going to have to come through the deans, okay? All right. All right. Thank you, sir.